Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about browsing issues in RS links that are caused by corruption of the Harmony files. And I get this call every so often and it's really hard to do a video on when you're not actually having browsing problems in RS links. Well, just so happened the video that I was making yesterday, I ended up having these problems and I just happened to catch it all on video. So first we're going to go through the video and talk about what you may see if you're having issues with your Harmony files. Let's go to communications, who active, and we'll select our processor. And yeah, so selecting it just like normal. I was doing it the day before and today all of a sudden I'm getting red X's. And of course I click it again. As much as I tell you not to do the same thing, expecting a different result, there I go clicking it again just to see. And now we're gonna close it. We're gonna open it back up like that's gonna do any good. And there goes those pesky red X's again. So now we're gonna to go to command prompt. This is the only intelligent thing I do in this video until I actually solve the problem. We're gonna to go to the command prompt. We're actually gonna ping it and we see, all right, I can ping my PLC. So yeah, what do I do? I close it and I open up the regular RS links like that's gonna do any good. And yeah, we get the red X's again. So then I close it and I'm going to delete the Ethernet IP driver now trying to solve this problem. Then I'm going to add it back. And we're going to browse again. And yeah, so now we just get blanks because we delete the ethernet ip driver added it back in but yeah we're still having these browsing issues so now i'm going to shut down rs links i'm on to it now so now i'm thinking yeah i need to delete those two harmony files but i forgot because it doesn't happen that often is you once you've had rs links open a windows won't let go of those files so when i go in here and i try to delete them I'm going to get told they're in use. Then I'm going to click the try again button, even though I haven't done anything, just because, again, we're in insanity mode trying to get this thing to work. Now we're going to check. Yep, it's all closed. And finally, yeah, I'm like, uh, yeah, I have to reboot my computer. And before I open RS Links, I have to delete these two files. I can't get the Ethernet IP driver working, so I'm deleting my Harmony files. Probably should have made a video on that. That might be the only other intelligent thing I did in this, is think to, we all might need to make a video about this. Okay, now I went in, deleted the files. I'm going to open up RS Links. We say I opened up Studio 5000. Then I'm going to jump over to RS Links while it's loading. Go down to our Ethernet IP driver that just wasn't working. And bam, right away, we're going to see our compact logic and our PowerFlex drive. So if you're having headaches like this and you're sure that you have your drivers configured properly, then try deleting those two Harmony files. It won't hurt anything. As soon as you open RS Links back up, it's going to create those files again and you'll be up and running. Mainly all your other history of like, say you've been to the last hundred PLCs that are normally clogging it all up, all of that will be gone but it'll get rid of whatever corruption actually causes this problem. And I've never really figured out the rhyme or reason to it. Uh, last time I had a problem with a Harmony file, I mean, it's probably been two or three years. I'm not, I'm never, never have quite figured it out. Anyway, there is some things to look at. You know, if you're seeing those same issues, then give that a try. And yeah, there's proof positive that as much as I tell y'all not to do the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, I end up doing it too once you're beating your head against the wall. If this video got you out of a bind with that Harmony issue, then please like this video. Also subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And today we're going to talk about troubleshooting, troubleshooting Harmony files? About how get, you get your butt kicked by Harmony files? What do I even call this? Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.